fortune always favors the brave. The brave ones here are Hindustan Unilever shareholders. For a stock trading at 62 times its trailing earnings, the FMCG giant sales have compounded at only 8% over the last 10 years. But despite expensive valuations, shareholders who have stayed put are sitting on a whopping 4.5x returns today. Now, in the past decade, ex-CEO and Managing Director Sanjeev Mehta steered India's largest consumer company through several ups and downs. Now, during Mehta's tenure, the stock appreciated over 300% from 600 rupees levels in October 2013 to 2600 rupees now. Now, he led the historic merger of GSK Consumer Healthcare with HUL, bringing Horlicks and Boost into its fold. Now, on June 26, Mehta retired and passed on the baton to Rohit Java. Now, when you are at the helm of a behemoth, expectations run high and margin of error is little. Now, Java has big shoes to fill and a long list to do ahead of him. So, what are the tall tasks that stand ahead of him? The Reserve Bank of India has pointed out that higher retail inflation in the country has slowed down personal consumption expenditure, which in turn is a leading to a moderation of corporate sales. Now, HUL is also a victim of this. Java takes over at a time when rural volumes for HUL are still in the negative. Now, in FY23, HUL's rural volumes declined 7%, while in Q4 FY23, the degrowth was around 3%. Now, El Nino impacting rains and hitting rural spend further is also a high possibility, believe most analysts. Now, according to Nomura, there's still some way to go before rural markets come out of the woods. The brokerage believes that urban markets will continue to grow faster. It notes that while rural demand is witnessing a better trajectory, it is still not out of the woods and the pace of recovery is still gradual. Nomura believes the full benefit of the harvest money is yet to translate into product consumer demand. As price-led top-line growth tapers off, the focus now turns to volumes. While the rural slowdown has been a reality, other consumer companies have not seen as sharp a decline, which raises the question on why HUL is lagging its peers, especially smaller contenders. The outperformers in terms of volume growth in Q4 were Nestle at 7%, Britannia at 12% and Tata Consumer at 8%, whereas HUL clocked just 4%. Now, HUL has managed to move consumers from detergent bars to powder to liquid and now even pods. In order to cater to Gen Z and beyond, the company needs to stay at the forefront of innovation and ramp up R&D spends. Now, according to industry experts, the disruption is not coming from mainstream companies, but from the startup world, especially in highly profitable categories like cosmetics and personal products, where smaller brands have mushroomed and are clocking higher growth rates. Emboldened by their online growth, they are also expanding the presence to offline channels. Now, while startups may be caught in a funding winter, consolidation in that space will embolden the survivors to go for the kill, and the trend will only accelerate. Now, to keep up, HUL will have to devise a strategy to counter these brands, as well as orchestrate buyouts to assert its presence and keep growing. It has already started taking steps in that direction. The company has marked its entry into the D2C space with acquisitions like Love, Beauty and Planet, Acne Squad, Find Your Happy Place, Oziva and Wellbeing Nutrition. Now, experts believe that these brands need to be scaled up aggressively to make a mark in the highly disruptive market. Now, as per analysts at BNP Paribas, Mature categories like hair oil and oral care have seen just about 3-4% revenue CAGR over the last 7 years. In fact, it sees further challenges going forward. HUL has brands like Indulekha and Pepsodent in these categories. Moreover, HUL has already uh, over 95% penetration in some of its categories like detergents. Therefore, analysts say that distribution-led growth will be a challenge from here on. Now, HUL has 19 brands with a turnover exceeding 1,000 crore per annum. 
In FY22, this club had 16 members. In fact, Surf Excel became the first home and personal care brand in India to clock over a billion dollars in annual sales in FY23. As saturation settles in, all eyes are now on how other brands will be scaled up to these levels. Java, who has been credited with transforming Unilever China and Unilever Philippines, surely has a tough task cut out for him. It's also perhaps the most exciting opportunity as the funding winter may in due course present buyout opportunities that may come handy in gaining presence in new and growing segments. As always, Java will need a multi-pronged approach to move the needle for HUL and win in many Indias. The street will be eagerly waiting for Java to articulate his strategy. Well, for more such videos, keep following Money Control.